Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay, um, I'm coming at you with a little DIY. Alright, I went to the Dollar Tree today, and I picked up some of these foam shapes, and these are in the shape of flowers, like so. Wow, that's bright. <laughs> so there you go. Um, yeah, they're pretty big. Let me show you. Okay, like, quick try to top coat. Yeah, let me see if I can. There we go. They are pretty big. Okay, so um, and they're really thin, and they don't weigh anything. But yeah, I was like, and these were like twenty four pack for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, which I thought was an awesome deal. And you get like several different colors. You get like four of the greens, you get four pinks, but I've already got some out. Um, four of the purple. These are a darker green. You can see the difference. Probably not. Yeah, there you go. You get four of the orange, and you get four of the yellow. Okay, and that's what these are. All right, so I grabbed these, and I'm like, hmm, I know I could do something with these. And I'm in um, Kenny Gregory, Kimberly Sue on Facebook, Kenny Gregory on, on YouTube. She's having a uh, La La Loopsy group spot. Um, if you want to see the mixes I made, you have to go back to the videos. <laughs> well, anyway, I had an idea. Um, I was going to use these little flowers right here and I'm going to use it in my presentations um, since you have to send in five mixes um, and you know five nail art you know and all that stuff so I've got six all together because one for her one for Kim and five others for the other five ladies um, and I've picked like two of two of each color except for the green I've got the pink purple yellow pink purple and yellow <laughs> is that all I have Oh, I've lost my mind. Yeah, so I've got like two of each. So I've already done the pink one. I'm going to show you what it looks like real quick. Okay. And that's what it would look like. Let me see if I can get it out. There you go. I'm trying to get my lighting right. So anyway, that's basically what it'll look like. I don't know if I'm going to add some like little details along here yet. I'm not sure because I'm not really done yet. But this is my initial idea. So as you, as you, I can't even talk tonight. I'm so tired. As you can see along the edge, I've got this beautiful pink glitter, and I don't even know if my camera is doing this any justice. To be quite honest with you, it is this super holographic glitter right here. Okay. So anyway, I'd use you know the double sided tape right here. This is what I use. Um, to tape on the mixes and I have no issue with the sticking to the foam so anyway you stick your mixes on like this and they've got the nail art I've already got some nail art already ready to go I do have some more nail art that um, I'm making yeah I don't have a lot of nail art and I've picked up these at Walmart which is pretty crazy here let me show you real quick like um, I got like was it ten three packs of these they're so pretty so I got three of those um, Two packs of these, and these are like, there's four different colors, and there's 17 of each color. You get like a dark purple, a light purple, um, like an AB, and then this beautiful bright pink, as you can see there. And then I also picked up, let me see, yeah, two of these. So anyway, I got those for a dollar. Whoops. <laughs> Falling from the sky. So anyway, I got each pack of those for a dollar. They were like in the clearance section for a dollar. And I went back to the craft section to grab baggies, you know. And I saw them in the craft section for like three or four dollars. I'm like, huh. So I went up the register and sure enough, the ones that were marked as a dollar, the ones that I got, I got all the ones they had left for a dollar because I'm not, I don't know, I'm just cheap. <laughs> well, anyway, um, I don't know. I might use some just to kind of like embellish the outside more. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. But this is what I've got so far. I might just leave it like this because I don't want to like go too overboard because I think this has turned out pretty cute. Okay, so anyway, as you can see here, this is glitter and... It, I mean, a little bit does come off, but not not like you would think. I mean, if you, oops, see what I mean? Okay, um, normally you would use, for crafters, you know, there's like Mod Podge and all kinds of stuff. Well, I don't have none of that, you know, and for those like nail ladies that are just starting out, this is like really simple. I mean, it is so easy. It really is. Um, you got glitter, any color glitter. I just wanted the pink holographic for the pink one here. Okay, and... Um, I kind of I got started on the yellow and there's like two different two different colors here and I can't see hold on one second 
Okay, I had to brighten my screen up. Well, anyway, yeah, I've got some of the pink glitter on here, but you can just dust that off with a really soft, you know, like brush. It's not a big deal. Because, yeah. <laughs> well, I've got two different colors of glitter here. I've got this um, fluorescent yellow that I have that I'll be selling really soon. Excuse my nails. That's black polish. I, yeah. <laughs> I've been making nail art and stuff, so <sighs> my nails suffer. But anyway, this is really bright um, fluorescent yellow that I have, and I haven't got enough of this to sell yet, but I will be eventually. This is like a yellow. It's really pretty. Here, hold on. Let me show you. Yeah, it's really gorgeous. It's like um, a bright neon yellow, but then it's got like a gold shimmer to it. It's gorgeous. So pretty. Okay, well, anyway, I put, I'm going to show you real quick, not with this one. But that's what this one is. Um, it's a little more difficult, and I'm just going to be hard to do on camera. And then I've got like this purple one here, and this is what I'll be showing you with. This is gorgeous, and I had gotten this actually here on Facebook, actually. Um, a girl was selling a bunch of craft stuff, and she had a lot of these little pots that were hardly used. Of course, I've used some in mixes, but yeah, this is gorgeous. It's like a purpley blue color. Oh, it's so pretty. Well, anyway, I might as well just leave the lid off since we're going to use it. Okay, so this is what how I did this, and I'm not even done yet. As you, um, as you can see, it is coming off, but yeah, I haven't sealed it, basically. So this is how I'm going to do this, okay? For those who don't have, you know, Mod Podge or anything else, I just use like this base top coat by LA Colors from, you can get the Dollar Tree, you can get a Dollar General, it's a dollar, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to take, see if you guys can see, okay? I've got, um, yeah, I'm going to clear off my paper so I don't get my other glitter contaminated. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to, sorry about this. It's hard to do on camera. I'm telling you what. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to put a good amount. It doesn't have to be too thick, but don't you don't want it to be too thin. You know what I'm saying? And we're just going to move it around the edges or wherever that you want to put the glitter, basically. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm going to put it like this. Just how, how, however you want, wherever you want it. I, I, seriously, I can't talk today. Okay, and then you're going to take your little glitter here and just lightly shake over. And that's why you have your paper down. That's going to catch all the glitter that's not oops, going to stick. That way you can put it back into your pot and use it for next time or for a mix or whatever. So we're going to do that. And then all I do is pick it up and just shake it off. And there we go. And like I said, the glitter that's in here, you can sh um, take like a fluffy brush or just tap it, you know, like that. All right. And then what you do with the mess, put that to the side, is we take this like so. <sighs> Try not to spill it, because I spilled it earlier, and man, I was so mad. And then we just, you know, tap it back into... The container okay now <laughs> excuse me get that out of the way now once this is down i mean you don't have to press on it because you know the, the base coat is still wet what i do next is whoo i'm all over the place guys so i'm sorry i'm going to use my quick dry top coat i got this at cvs for like i don't know two dollars or something it was on well no it was free that's what it was i get this for free because i save up my um CVS bucks. This is like $8.99 normally. So I'm like, wow. But it's quick try and um, it's usually pretty glossy. So we're going to seal in. You don't have to use your, you know, good top coat, honestly. You could use whatever cheap top coat or whatever. But I just, you know, you just want to seal in the glitter so that way whoever's getting it, it's not going to rub off and mess up your, you know, your hard work basically. So we're just going to put a nice good amount on here, like so. Make sure you cover it and if it gets on your brush that's you know when you've got you know your, your paper towel here and you just wipe your brush off so you're not contaminating your top coat <laughs> which I already did with the base coat but that's okay it's a cheap base coat no big deal okay and we're just going to go around like so and if you notice any bald spots you know you could always just tap on some more glitter it's not a big deal I mean it's easily fixed you know 
you can't really go wrong. It's super simple and super cheap. And, you know, you don't really need a lot of stuff. All you need is, you know, um, a top base coat, whichever. You don't even have to use base coat. Mine's just a two-in-one. That's just what I had. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. See, like, right here, I've got a little bald spot. And I'm not okay with that. So we're going to just tap just a tad bit right here. And, ooh, right there. Tap off as much as we can. Okay. There we go. Fixed. So then I'm going to go back in and seal it up like so. Wipe off my brush. Seal it in. Okay. And that's pretty much it. I mean, <laughs> once it's dry, um, since I want it shiny, because I've noticed you might want to put a second top, you know, a second layer of top coat on this. Because what I noticed with the pink, it was really kind of dull looking and I mean it's not so much here because I used once I top coated it with quick dry I my second coat I went back in with my pure eye shine lock it down top coat and I grabbed this at Walmart no they have these at Walmart it's like five or six bucks for a bottle of this because they're like brand new it's like they're gel type yep yeah, everybody's jumping into the gel types but anyway I got this at um yeah oh Catholic Charities for um i believe it was 50 it was under a dollar it was like 50 cents or something so yeah i was like wow that's a steal and it was brand new you know what i'm saying so i just put this on top <laughs> to excuse me to give it the you know the more shine like the more glossy so you know the glitter can shine through basically and then you decorate it how you like and that's pretty much it you know i just like i thought that was a cute idea and I'm always trying to find, I'm not, I don't join very many group swaps, so when I do, I like to try to be different and unique, because, you know, everybody's got these really cool ideas, and I get tired of the same old stuff all the time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so anyway, that was my idea, I hope you guys like, like I said, it was super, super simple, and yeah, so all you need is your a top coat or a base coat, and some glitter. And then like these little foam things, like I said, you get a 24 pack um, at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And they had different sizes. They had like butterflies, not sizes, shapes. They had like butterflies and I don't remember what else. So I hope you like my little idea. Um, if you have any suggestions or any questions, um, you feel free to put them down in the comments and I will answer them as soon as possible. And I will, oh, we also have a new, me and uh, Pretty Things Rock also have a new um glitter facebook page specifically just for glitter there's no selling but you can go on here and show off your mixes um i will be posting this on there because this is like the little things that you you know anything that you make that's with glitter you can post it on there to show off or whatever if you have um a glitter group swap you could post your video there mixes that you've made you can post there i will leave it's called glitterology i will leave that in the description box box also um come check us out and let's all have you know have some fun in our new glitter group because we all love glitter. <laughs> all right. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.